When I first saw this image, I thought the family in the photo were kind of throwing up their hands in horror and were fleeing the items flying through the air. But alas, no, this is a joyous occasion. They are celebrating at the fact that they can spend more time together because we're living now in a world of convenience where we can throw out the cutlery and the plastic packaging that we use every day. And that equates to around 141 million tonnes per year. Of that plastic packaging that we produce, only 14% makes it into some kind of recycling process. Everything else is either pushed into landfill, or it's simply burnt, or actually it just leaks out into the environment because we haven't managed it properly, and it makes its way into our water systems, our rivers, and ultimately our oceans. And even that 14% that makes it into some kind of recycling log logistics mechanism only 2% of that is actually being effectively uh, recycled. So a plastic bottle being made into another plastic bottle. You generally can't rely on the consumer to solve the problem. It's gotta come from the business side. The capitalist system has created all these problems, but the capitalist system has the potential with the right incentives to solve the problems. And so you always have to tackle it from the business incentive. But what's in it for them to solve the problem? Is it competitive differentiation? Is it a better mousetrap? Is it cost savings? Is it their consumers are demanding it? Is it regulations or trying to avoid regulations? Coca-Cola and Unilever and Nestle, right? They're getting lots of pressure from countries even now, especially Southeast Asia, right? They're, they're covered in plastic and they're saying, you guys have created this problem. You need to solve it. We're gonna ban your products. That's a big problem for PepsiCo and Coca-Cola and Nestle, right? They do not want their products banned in those countries, big markets for them. That is the business case for them to solve the problem, is they wanna know that this isn't child labor, that this person didn't cut their foot in doing the job, that there's a lot of social value and that a lot of the money's going to that community. One of the things that we're trying to do is sort of elucidate this uh, type of environment through data. And the more data we capture, the more we can do with it. How could machine learning and deep learning uh, affect in a systematic way how we discover where the plastic is located and then ultimately collect it as well? How do we break down barriers to technology and make it so that we can really focus on how do we partner together from both a corporate and grassroots level to enable effective change?